Now from the KMAX Storm Team Weather Lab, here's meteorologist Maggie Denizio. Good morning, Lubbock, and happy Thursday. Well, yesterday morning, we did have a cold front move across the South Plains that kept those temperatures yesterday afternoon very well below average. And let's go ahead and take a look at our current satellite and radar so you can see where the front is now. So it is still well to the south of us, continuing to push towards the east. And what we are going to be tracking next is this cold front that's still well to the north of us up in Canada. But this front will continue to push towards the south through the end of this week and will actually start to move across the South Plains by the end of this weekend. But here's a live look outside from our Overton Hotel sky cam. We are starting off this Thursday morning with mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures a little bit cooler than what we've been seeing all summer long. So you might still want to grab a light jacket before you head out the door. Those temperatures are in the upper 50s and lower 60s with calm winds and dew points in the lower 50s. Afternoon temperatures will be getting warmer than yesterday afternoon, but still well below average for this time of year. Our average high is 91 degrees. We will likely be staying in the 80s, most of us even staying in the lower 80s this afternoon. So still, though, a warm day. So as I take you through the next couple of days, starting off in the morning with a little bit more cloud cover out there, mostly cloudy skies, but the clouds will be decreasing as we head through this afternoon. Really a nice day in store for us with mostly sunny skies by 6 p.m. And overnight tonight, though, a little bit more cloud cover will build back in, and we will be watching for a chance of some storms, mostly in the northeastern corner of the South Plains, starting after midnight tonight, lasting through the early hours of tomorrow morning. Most of us, though, will be staying dry. The rain chances are very low for tonight, and it does look like that rain will continue to head off towards the east through the later morning hours. Another nice day for the most part on Friday, but as we head towards Friday afternoon, those temperatures warming back up, those dew points getting back into the 60s. We will be looking at a chance of some isolated storms firing up around 6 o'clock Friday afternoon, continuing into the evening hours, as well as overnight into Saturday morning. And we do actually have a chance tomorrow of May Maybe an isolated or severe storm or two later on in the afternoon. We will be looking for the chance of the gusty winds as well as large hail and locally heavy rainfall with those storms that form on our Friday afternoon. So a very slim chance of rain overnight tonight, keeping in the slight chance of rain Friday as well as through the weekend. Those temperatures, though, getting warmer as we head towards Saturday. Saturday likely will be our hottest day this weekend. A great day to head out to the pool one last time as I know those kiddos head back to school on Monday. Sunday will still be getting warm in the upper 80s, but that's when that front will be moving through, bringing us better chances of maybe some scattered showers and storms throughout the day on Sunday. Should be drying out, though, just in time for the first day of school, as well as getting hot as we head towards the <laughs> middle of next week, right back into those mid-90s. It's like just in time for school, and the sun is really going to be cranking the heat. Yeah, and that's what, as we head towards the end of next week, it looks like that upper ridge that we talked so much about this summer season will build back in, which